here as they pull back. Now you want to keep the, the pelvis tucked in and the chin tucked in. Don't do like this. Keep this tucked in. Down, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to be able to come down to the ground here and have your elbows like this at 45 degrees. So over, back, down, up. Don't do this. Keep this long neck. Down and back. So over, down and back. Get the structure, add the legs, and then you can come down, yeah? So, you come, you start with the hand holding the stick, palm down. Like you're just uh, chopping down like this, like with an ax. So you come down and then onto the side, okay? So you come down here onto the side. Then, back of the hand is down after here, back of the hand down, palm up. So first it's palm down, then palm up. Then you drop onto the other side, turn, and again palm down. So you go one, two, three, palm down. One, two, three, behind. So for those of you who play tennis, it's this position that you would have the arm in if you were gonna serve or make a smash. Okay, here, so one, two, three, over. One, one, three, over. One, two, three, behind and down. Hi and welcome back to Kalari Lab Online. My name is Adam Phillips and today we have Asya behind the camera. So what we're going to look at today are exercises for rehabilitating a shoulder. Now, the majority of shoulder problems, um, well, okay, that's a broad statement. M many shoulder problems are simply caused by the muscles in the front being too tight and the muscles in the back being too weak, okay? This kind of rounded shoulder, impinging on the nerve, creating symptoms of static or numbness or pain in the arm, okay? So we're going to be looking at how to fix this. Now, the two things you really need to do, the first one is to create space in the front, sukha, good space, open space, right? By lengthening pec minor and some of the other muscles which are pulling forwards, but particularly pec minor. And then on the back, we need to strengthen serratus anterior and um, the lower traps in order to pull the scapula back. Now, the first thing we want to do, be doing is some engagement of those muscles then specifically to target. Now, if you take the stick and you bring it over your back like this. Now, if you don't have a stick, you can use a piece of cloth, uh, a karate belt, or something that sort of creates tension between your hands. And as you bring it back, you want to feel this backward movement of these two muscle groups, this engagement here as they pull back. Now, you want to keep the, the pelvis tucked in and the chin tucked in. Don't do like this. Keep this tucked in. 10 seconds and release. So over, hold. And then control, bring it back over, over the top. Down, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then up and forward. Again. So I've got a rock here. Now, what I want you to, be, to do is to put the two hands below the shoulders and you're gonna bring the scapula so they're all the way forward. Scapula here, all the way forward. And then, just sinking down, you're going to bring them, you're going to bring them back here, back, forward, back, forward,
you want to be able to come down to the ground here and have your elbows like this at 45 degrees behind you. So the, the starting point is really to have the knees on the ground like this. And from here to come forward until you've got this straight line through the body. Then down, lift the chest, keeping the shoulders back. Yeah, so the same backward movement that you had up here when we were using the stick. So over, back, down, up. Don't do this. Keep this long neck and back. Over, straight line, shoulders back, down. Keep the shoulders back. Keep the shoulders back. Shoulders back. Now, to access, or oh sorry, to target Sarat Santeria particularly, I showed you up there this exercise coming from here, down, up, down, up. Now, the same thing can be done here, down, up, down, up. Be very careful when you're doing this that your neck is not becoming overactive. Yeah, so to be able to talk is a good test. If you can still keep your breath relaxed enough to be able to talk, then your 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 the neck is not taking too much tension. Okay, and now I'm very dirty. Okay, so what you have here then start with the four-point kneeling, whether it's to do the first of the dand coming through or whether it's to do this uh, pushing up exercise, which is what we call a press up plus, where you push up and down. So in either case, start with four-point kneeling, then bring the legs back. Now when you bring the legs back, try to do it uh, step by step so that you keep this engagement. So here, I've got my positioning, my stability in my lower traps and in Sarata anterior. Now I lift this leg up and I hold that stability here. I'm holding it. Yeah, I don't just go from here, here. Now I've lost it all. Yeah, so get the structure, add the legs, and then you can come down. Yeah. Okay, so the last one, once you've progressed on from this, is that you can start in this position, come over, let's use these rocks, you can come over, down, and back. So over, down, and back. Okay, so this is just the very beginning of these dand or ground exercises. We will progress them, but I want to start at the beginning. Come back to the stick. And what I want to show you here is a rolling exercise from Southern Style. So, it's gonna take some practice for you to get this. To start with, you're just coming right to left, right to left. Now, what we really want is this movement here to open the shoulder up here. So, you come, you start with the hand holding the stick, palm down. Like you're just uh, chopping down like this, like with an ax. So you come down and then onto the side. Okay, so you come down here onto the side. Then, back of the hand is down after here. Back of the hand down, palm up. So first it's palm down, then palm up. Then you drop onto the other side, turn, and again palm down. So you go one, 
two, three, palm down. One, two, three, behind. So for those of you who play tennis, it's this position that you would have the arm in if you were going to serve or make a smash. This position here. So we go one, two, three, four. Once again, so palm down, back of the hand down, change onto the other side, behind, and then you come across the body again to where you started. And you can give the tree a, a gentle uh, kiss as you pass. Then you can change onto the other hand, okay? So the change, the change should happen here on the hip. You want to have this hand waiting, making like an L shape, so that the stick can come into this and then gets taken over by the other hand, okay? Here, here. And you see I'm changing legs, so I'm receiving it on my back leg, here, here, yeah? It's obviously a bit more challenging on a rock, yeah? So start off maybe not on a rock, on a flat surface and maybe not with the tree, immediately next to you, okay? Let me come back a little bit, All right? Okay, here, so one, two, three, over. One, one, three, over. One, two, three, behind and down. One, two, three, behind, down. One, two, three, behind, down, one, two, three, behind, and hit the tree. Okay, so uh, maybe we're going to move because what I want to show you now is doing this with a larger stick as well. So just work on this pattern, one, two, three, behind, down, two, three, behind, down. And as you go behind, try to really open up the shoulder, yeah? So you can feel that it's dropping backwards. And this is going to really help to make space in here. Now, um, the last thing I want to do, just to show you what, how you can take this later, is with a larger stick. Maybe you can just film from there, Asya, and I'll just speed this bit up. I didn't do this for a long time. Maybe it's too big. I think we'll make it a, a monthly feature on this uh, dissected section that we come back to these exercises. Okay, this week in the treatment session, we're going to be looking at how to massage, maintain length in these structures to go on top of the exercise. We're also going to look at, in the science section, what it is about uh, stability and structuring in the joints that is so important and how when you lose that structure, you basically close down your energetical body, you create what's called dukkha, closed space, and as a result, a result of that, you get all sorts of problems in the arm or whichever limb is associated with that joint. Okay, so all to come this week. I'm gonna go and take a shower. Thanks very much. Thank you, Asya. See you all soon. Nalikanam.